Hello and welcome to lesson number 9.2 where we will do a little recap on the last lessons. So we dealt with vector and vector analysis. What we have done, we created some sort of combined layer which takes into account the distances from streets, the distances from schools in terms of we have done the buffer analysis. We did some intersection with the buildings layer and we did some filtering on the results then because the houses we are interested in should have an area of at least 100 square meters. On the other hand, we dealt with raster data as well. So we took a DEM, uh, we analyzed it according to the slope, the aspect. We did some raster calculations. Where is the slope below five degrees and facing north? And where are, uh, where are uh, flat areas with uh, at a maximum value of two degrees? And we assigned it to a value of one. So we would like to work with this, uh, with this part of the land and to values of zero, where we are not interested in buying the land because it's too steep to develop something there. So now there's this, uh, or this is a Rasta information we have here in the back, in the background, black. And white color. Now we will enrich, or we will we will enrich the analysis for proper and suitable land for our buying purpose with the raster analysis. Therefore, first of all, make sure both of the information should be in the same CRS. Let's have a look on the suitable layer. The suitable layer has the CRS of 34 South, and our suited property layer, the result of the first analysis has here an, so an EPSG code which is the same. So we are fine with this. Now what we will do first to intersect both layers we need to polygonize the raster. Therefore we will use polygonize. So we will do raster to vector as part of the GDAL raster conversion. We will use suitable DEM and we will name it suit. We will save it to a shapefile called suitable dam. Yes, I would like to replace this. Now, unfortunately, the combo box is not showing up again, so there we are. Just press on run. Now the result is already there. Now we will assign it a proper symbology. So go to properties, symbology. Let's take a hashed line, but a categorized one. And we'll categorize, categorize it according to the value in suit. Let's classify this. We'll go with the nice reddish color here. For the non suited areas with the black line, and the same black line for the suited areas, and we will make this green colored line a little bit darker. Click on apply. And this looks nice. So now we have here a polygon or a vector layer with the same information as the raster. But let's have a look here on that size of that polygon layer, which is quite big, right? So we need to boil it down a little bit. But before we can boil it down, we really need to fix some geometries first. This is always, it shows some, some errors in processing. So please make sure that you, if you occur, if you see such errors, that there is a broken or invalid geometry, use fixed geometries up front to the uh, to the layer of choice. So we will now go with the suitable dem layer and we will just do it on the run. Could take some time, this is normal because we have a lot of polygons and a lot of geometries to check. Now the 
processing has finished, we will copy the style, all style categories, and apply the same style here. Now let's remove this layer. Say OK. Let's have a look once again. Zoom to layer. That layer is really, really huge. So let's boil it down a bit, a little bit, and we will use clip vector by extent. We will go on the fixed geometries and we will use the extent of the suited property layer. Just press on OK, and we will save it to a file once more. Suitable dem subset sounds good. I would like to reprocess as well. Once again, and go with run. So the processing is finished. Let's have a look here now. This is a proper and really nice subset. Now we will apply the style once again. There we go, and we can throw away or we can remove this memory layer now. Let's have a look here. And this is now the suited area of interest, right? So we have some layers here. So this is fine for the moment. What we will do now, we will use this information and make a new intersect. So where both criteria meet, right? And we'll do an intersect not only on the layer, but on the filtered layer. Therefore, we will apply a filter here to the where suit equals one. Let's test this. Okay. This is enough. And we will go with intersection. We will use input layer uh, suited property. The overlay layer will be our soup suitable DM subset. And let's run this. It closes again. And what you can see now is quite interesting. So we have buildings here that are of course, not in both areas, right? So a part of the buildings are in, 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 in an area where the DM, DM just says, no, it's too steep there. Um, so how, how can we avoid this? How we, can we make sure that the property we can see here is still uh, on some piece of land that is suited for it, uh, for, for our, um, for our, concerns, right? Therefore, we can assign a negative buffer. By negative buffer, let's open this up. We will assign a negative buffer with 100 meters. 100 meters should be just fine on the suitable dem subset. We'll leave everything as it is. Let's have a look how this looks like then. We're doing this now only on the on the filtered on the filtered assignments, right? So we will go here. Let's have a look again. But we assigned a positive buffer. So once again, go here. We can remove this layer. Because we had missed quite a minus there. So once again. Go on suitable dem subset minus 100 meter. Everything the same. Now here we are. Now this is the inner part of the polygon. We will go with circles. And now we can use this buffer to make a new intersection because then all the area all the all the property that is inside there is quite also inside the polygon of the suitable 
uh, the um, background. So once again, go with the intersection. Oh no, we will do it otherwise. We will not cut it out because we don't want to buy just part of the building. We will do a select by location, which is even better and not according to the written version. So let's go with our select by location. We will select features from, of course, the suited uh, property. Everything that intersects with the buffer. Let's run this. So in yellow, we can see all the buildings that are now part of the green area and that intersect with the green area. So we are not cutting through the buildings anymore, but we will just use these buildings. So this is even better than slicing through. And we will use this information now. Right click, export. Oh, come on, where is the... It's not the buildings, of course, it's a suited property. Go with right click, export, save selected features as. And we will save it as a suited property underscore final, because this is our last step here. Once again, go with um, not this 15, we will go with six coordinate precisions, and this is now the final choice. So, according to all the buildings, these buildings we can see here have met all the criteria. They are inside a radius of maximum of 50 meters around, uh, around the street, they are at maximum one kilometer away from a school. They have an area of at least 100 square meters and they are on a piece of land where you have either very flat land with slopes less than two degrees or you have north on facing slopes with a slope of a maximum of five degrees and these are possible um or, or quite good fits to the needs of our client so you can now just select, well, don't show me the buildings anymore. And um, maybe assign a new color to the roads, right? So go with, I don't know, go with Topo Road. And have a look on the last assignments and last lessons. Now you can simply create a nice featured map for your client where you can search for the property of his choice. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any comments or questions or you just want to remark something, drop a line down below. Otherwise, subscribe. Thank you. Take care and goodbye.